alternator bracket. And I'll tell you what got me off on this little adventure is back in the day, I had this alternator bracket on a Chevrolet. And the way it mounted up was this sat up here and it bolted to something on this uh, water pump, I guess. And then this piece sat over here. Maybe it was like this. I'm guessing that's right. And then there was a hole in the head and a bolt went through this big hole into the head and this supported the alternator. Then the alternator moved back and forth out here, uh, hinged on this piece that was bolted onto the intake manifold and the water pump, I guess. And I'm not, I'm wondering if that water pump bolt, see if you put this up here, that would put the water pump bolt way on out here beyond the water pump. And it would put the alternator out here. I've never really thought about whether this was what you'd call a short shaft or a long shaft pump. It might be that it's a short shaft and there might be a different pump. I know there's a lot of different pumps, but I always just assumed that this was a long shaft. It could be a short shaft. Anyway, bottom line is this won't work. Not on this engine, not on that pump. So I went back to what I was working on. Let me set this over here because these parts are going back down to the Chevrolet parts storage area. And this is the this is the, the thing that I had on here last time, which worked pretty good, but it seemed like it was a lot. You know, it, it sits way up off here, high up on the side of the motor. And I thought if I could tuck that alternator in here a little bit, it would be better. But And plus, I had to use this pump because this pretty little chromium plated pump that's that right there is the only exit it has and of course if this is the only exit you have then you can't get a the heater pipe on this so this pump has the the uh, water outlet on top so I can get a, a uh, heater line on this there's a couple things about this setup that I don't like. This bolt doesn't align with that bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've marked this. I'm going to notch this out with a grinder. I'm going to weld a washer up here that lines up with that hole. And then I can put a longer bolt through this and put a spacer behind it so that I can get my, uh, my, my holding power from this bolt on my, water pump and also get some holding power here now that's one thought that I may or may not do and another one is to drill a hole here because if I had a if I had a hole right there I could take um, I don't have a bolt but I can show you with this yeah, this long bolt <clears throat> See, if I had a hole here I could put a bolt over to here right into that hole. You notice how this hole is just slightly offline from that hole back there. So if I made a hole right here, I could put a bolt through here and I could make another attachment point right here. And what I could do is rather than mess with this here, I could leave that because that does allow me to get a bolt in behind here and tighten that up with, to hold the water pump. So I could just leave this alone. And I might do both. I think I'm gonna do both. I think I'm gonna notch this, I'm gonna drill this hole. I'm gonna look at putting a washer on this um, and just think about it. But the more, the more holding support points I have, the better. Now the back side of this bolts to the uh, exhaust manifold and that's tricky. This whole thing is tricky. But once I get it set up, like I think it needs to be set up. And if you'll notice, if I pull an eyeball from right here, this pulley, that's the inside pulley. This pulley to that middle pulley and to this middle pulley lines up and I run this with two, two belts on it. But I'm gonna cut the camera off. I'm gonna make some modifications here on this one. 
and then I'm gonna come back and put it back on here and look at it some more and if I like it I'm gonna paint it up I'll take the alternator off paint it up nice take the water pump off and paint it up nice and uh, find the bolts I need I somehow managed to lose one of my bolts that go down here um, and then and then after the paint dries I can go ahead and get this off this lift and start the process of moving it toward going in the Rambler. So that's what I'm working on today.